I want to start our technical product demo today by focusing on the real differentiating features in the Alation platform. And before we get into the core platform itself, let's talk about Alation's breadth of connectivity as shown here on our website. We've got over 100 published connectors for a wide range of data sources, ranging from modern data stack leaders like Snowflake and Databricks, Postgres, MongoDB, cloud service provider offerings such as AWS Redshift, Microsoft SQL Server, lots of on-premises connectors such as Oracle and SAP, connectivity to BI environments such as Power BI and Tableau, platforms like Salesforce, and then connectivity into many of the components that help data move between these systems like AWS Glue, Confluence Kafka, Fivetran, and many more. In cases where a customer wants to bring data from a system that's not on this extensive list, Alation has developed an open connector framework to help our wider partner ecosystem to access these environments and streamline the ingestion process. Now, our metadata extraction exists alongside our query log ingestion functionality that helps to analyze behaviors of the accounts that access and consume data from these sources and turn that into powerful insights within Alation itself, as we'll see shortly. Turning to the Alation platform, you'll see our fantastic new modern user experience that's been designed in partnership with our customers and we'll dive into many of the features as we explore the interface in detail. I'm going to start with search and discovery and we'll take our search interface here front and center in the UI and let's search for assets related to craft beer. Highly intuitive responses here with an incredibly fast search index and allowing us to click straight through into these initial assets or drop down into a faceted search if we want to apply filters, retrieve saved results, or even perform bulk actions directly on the list here. There's a lot of power at our fingertips. The search results here rank using a combination of keyword search, semantic search, a recent addition using AI and word embeddings to explore a wider set of results where semantic meaning helps us retrieve more interesting or relevant documents, popularity from our query log ingestion that we mentioned earlier, and trust flags where endorsed content from subject matter experts helps the best content rise to the top. Now our top result here is a table in our Snowflake database under the retail schema. Let's drill into our craft beer financial fact table to take a closer look at some more innovations in our data catalog. So our catalog page here is filled with rich descriptive information from a title and description. We can see that images, hyperlinks to other pages in the catalog, such as this link to our retail term glossary, really adds to the interactive experience, along with data classification fields for this specific table object, covering certification status, PII classifications, and whether the asset is considered part of our critical data architecture. Scrolling further down, we can see more granular detail around the columns within this particular table. And here we see evidence of our AI augmentation capabilities, where a technical column has been renamed automatically through our Ali AI service into something more human readable and business friendly. The green robot icon here indicates an AI suggestion that's been verified by a human in the loop curator, showing that throughout the platform, AI is used for augmentation, but humans are there to verify the suggestions or the generated content. Now we can change our view to look at sample content to take a look at a predefined number of records from this table, often a really powerful way for an analyst user to get a feel for what's been included in this data asset. Scrolling further down, we can see associated queries that have been published using this table. And at the bottom here, we can see that the table forms part of a published data product that's curated and managed directly within Alation. We'll talk more about this shortly. Heading back to the top of the page, we also see new AI innovations where we can have Gen AI automatically rewrite descriptions for assets based on the extracted metadata and query log information. So it's a powerful way to bootstrap the documentation and curation process for onboarded assets, which of course can be edited further by subject matter experts down the line. 
It's important that version control is available across all elements in the catalog page too, and we can simply click the icon to review changes made over time with the option to restore these versions with the click of a button. Over to the right, a wide range of custom fields. We've got top users of this asset as determined by query log analysis. This can be a great way for new users to find an expert, maybe to answer any additional questions. Synchronized tagging back to platforms like Snowflake ensures that we've got consistency between the data intelligence platform and the cloud data warehouse. Nominated data stewards are recorded against this asset. Up at the top of the screen, highlighting some more differentiating features within the platform, we know it can be a real challenge for companies to scale governance teams at the same rate as the underlying growth of data itself. So we've introduced Alation Workflow Automation, or Alation Bots, that can assist with identification, remediation of typical governance activities. So in this case, we've got a violation warning from one of our governance bots indicating that this asset contains PII but doesn't have a PII classification set. We can drill into this bot to learn more about the underlying policy, which is managed as part of our policy center, and see the effectiveness of the bot in catching potential issues across the platform. Alongside these great new AI and automation features, there's still a close tie to human interaction too. We can switch over to our conversations tab to engage with experts in threaded conversations. We get to take these social interactions beyond simply the boundaries of the Alation platform itself through a feature known as Alation Anywhere, bringing collaboration into environments like Teams and Slack. As an example, inside Slack, I can simply call slash elation and then type the search terms that I'm interested in such as craft beer financial to retrieve the exact catalog page details that I'm working with in the platform itself. I've got access to trust flags, column details, even the conversations themselves which I can post to my Slack channels. And we'll continue the tour of recent additions to our capabilities. Let's drop into our Data Health tab to explore some recent innovations around the Alation Open Data Quality Framework that highlights our ongoing commitment to integrating with the best of breed data quality partners such as Monte Carlo, Soda and more recently with Databricks and Snowflake in the form of synchronization with their data metric functions, giving Alation users really a single pane of glass for data health alongside the full data catalog. We recently announced our data quality processes for both Databricks and Snowflake to achieve this capability at their recent summit events. Now on this screen, we're seeing data quality rules that have been defined for this table, two of which are currently running without issue, one showing a quality violation. If we drill through, we can find out more details about this exception on the customer name validity rule that highlights exactly what's being checked under this policy, the scoring methodology that's used, even the underlying Python code that implements the data health check in this particular example. At the bottom of the page, we can see related tables and columns that this policy applies to if we'd like to explore further but we can head back to our main catalog page and then click on the overview tab to see how data health information for these rules is available directly against the columns of the table itself for easy access. We've also introduced some new differentiating capabilities into our data lineage view. So let's jump to the lineage tab, select compound layout. We'll jump into full screen mode, and give ourselves a little room on the screen. If we zoom out a few steps, we'll see a clean lineage diagram showing our Snowflake environment alongside a downstream flow into Tableau at the bottom of the screen. Now, in addition to this standard technical lineage view that goes down to the column level, we can also visualize what's called business lineage, where we overlay trust flags for these assets, such as highlighting deprecated or endorsed assets in the overall lineage, as well as other important information. So in this case, we can now click the blue icon next to the table to see that important information in the context of the overall lineage, all within a single view. We recently enhanced this functionality to also include an overlay 
for data health. So quality issues can be flagged directly onto this business lineage, help users understand the risks of quality on downstream components. Let's close this lineage view and reiterate that trust flags are also deployed on the catalog page itself. Up here at the top, so you're very rarely more than a click away from being able to understand whether a critical data asset is to be trusted, used with caution, or has important policy information attached. Now, staying on governance and stewardship for a moment, let's explore some of the latest upgrades to Alation around data governance itself. Using the new interface, let's take a look at policies in more detail via the left-hand navigation. What you're seeing here is our new Document Hub interface, consisting of folders and associated documents, which offer huge potential for customization. In this case, policy groups contain one or more policies themselves, and we can navigate or search directly into these levels to learn more. For example, clicking into the Business Policy Group for BCBS 239 regulations, we can see detailed references and documentation for the different sections and principles across the legislation. Alternatively, I can search across all policies for different types of policy, such as dynamic data masking. Let's click through on this first link and we can see a data masking policy for customer names with associated policy documentation, the data that's managed through the policy, even the SQL used to create the masking itself that can be synchronized back with platforms such as Snowflake. Alongside policies, Alation offers governance features for curation within the catalog, with a detailed dashboard showing curation progress for any steward across all of their responsibilities. We have catalog sets as a means to make bulk changes to groups of catalog assets, where groups can be defined through regular expressions, making administration much simpler. And similarly, our stewardship workbench helps with bulk curation through faceted search to bring together assets for wider curation. We've already touched on policies, but I'll quickly show you how we've upgraded our workflow management. And here in our workflow center, we can edit an existing workflow to see how simple it is to set up either a change request process or handle new incoming requests within Alation. Let's pick the data product request workflow and we'll edit this workflow to learn more. So here, without the need for any code, we can create or amend a multi-step workflow that says whenever a new document is added to the data product requests folder, we'll send a review task to the following Alation groups that can be fulfilled when at least one of these groups approves the task using the collaboration features we saw earlier. And of course, we can have as many steps or dependencies as we need for our governance processes. Speaking of data products, we've implemented our data marketplace capability using this new Alation interface. And our document hubs structure the marketplace into data product registries that contain groups of data products. And if we explore the customer data product registry, we can see that we have three data products within this grouping. Let's click into the Customer Activity Overview product to see details of the product, how to request access to the dashboards and underlying tables, or the associated assets. In a similar way, we use Document Hubs to organize our business glossaries, our learning centers, as well as access to AI products that are curated in a similar way as part of our investment in wider AI governance. Now, we've shown some of the close integrations with Databricks and Snowflake in particular, where we've got some compelling use cases around data modernization and cloud data migration. Our partner network has been particularly active in terms of innovation here, leveraging our Alation Analytics capability that captures platform usage alongside workflow consumption tracking data as part of our metadata and query log ingestion to really help identify and optimize workloads across both cloud platforms like Snowflake, but also targeted legacy environments, maybe a Teradata or Oracle environment on-prem, in order to migrate over and decommission older silos of compute or storage. Peak Performance is a Snowflake native app that uses Streamlit to visualize this consumption tracking.
helping users understand workload both in the cloud and from on-prem sources for both migration and optimization use cases. And we'll continue to see new functionality added to consumption tracking in the future. So we've covered the platform, innovations across the catalog itself, enhancements to business facing lineage and exploration, governance, stewardship, data quality processing through our open data quality framework, data products, and marketplaces, including our initiatives to work closely with partners such as Databricks, Snowflake, and others. Visit alation.com to learn more about Alation, the leading data intelligence platform. Thank <laughs> you.